Hi, I'm Rudy Saunders. I'm an interior designer at Dorothy Draper & Company, and we're here in the Victorian writing room at the historic Greenbrier Resort in West Virginia. So this room was created by Dorothy Draper back when she first came to the hotel in the 40s. And it used to have a staircase going up to the upper guest room floors that she closed off to help to divide. The main spaces were all connected. So she wanted to create smaller, more intimate spaces. So the Victorian writing room was one of those. When the room was created and still today, it's used for writing letters home or postcards, that kind of thing. And so it, during World War II, it was used as an office. And so it kind of continued on with that for writing, uh, something we don't necessarily do as much of today. So it's really a fun feature we still have here at the Greenbrier. The walls are a dark Greenbrier green and all of the trim is white for a very stark contrast, but it gives a very traditional look to the space while still being very fresh. The mantelpiece was a Victorian marble that was in the old white hotel that was here before the Greenbrier was built. And so that was something she brought from the old hotel here that's kind of a fun uh, detail. It doesn't actually work, but it certainly adds a lot of charm to the space. Above it is an antique gilt Girondole mirror that also was in the old white hotel that she brought here to use in the Greenbrier and really adds that kind of connection to the history of the resort to today. And then flanking the fireplace are two wing chairs and that's how Mrs. Draper had it um, and something we've continued on today. Mr. Varney was a big believer that wing chairs should be in pairs and never by themselves. And so that's a great example of this. The two scalloped tables have also been there since she placed them there in the 40s with the two Asian tea canister lamps on top. Really special that those pieces have, have been in those spots since that time. So the partner desk in the middle has also been here since Mrs. Draper first placed it there. And it's a beautiful wooden piece with a leather top. It's the perfect spot for writing a letter home. It's interesting because that's where Mrs. Draper signed her contract with the Greenbrier. So there's a great photo of her uh, with the president of CNO Railroad in, in this room. So it's kind of a neat connection. The two silver lamps that are on it were there at that time and then we just recently replaced the shades and had them custom made to fit the lamps with a really pretty uh, Samuel and Sons trim on it to kind of pull the colors of the room together. So the windows are big dramatic arch windows that you see throughout the hotel and they're draped in a very beautiful fabric called fudge apron and it's a fabric Mrs. Draper designed for this room and she was inspired by southern ladies who would make fudge and all the different colors that went into the fudge and those kind of camouflaged into their aprons. And so it was kind of the idea of pulling those colors with this really beautiful floral that has um, so many different colors in it. It is just such a beautiful, punchy kind of overscale for this space. And when the drapes were done a couple years ago, the tie backs and large tassels were custom made by Samuel and Sons for here that really just have the perfect colors and the perfect details for, for the room. When the office is doing restoration and continued work here at the Greenbrier, we're always constantly trying to refresh and maintain, but always with a little bit of a twist. So a couple years ago when this carpet was replaced, Mr. Varney wanted to do it in a red moire. Historically, it's always just been a solid red. And so this was just a little bit of a detail that really added um, just a little, a little touch for guests returning to see something different. So hanging above is a gilt chandelier that is an antique of Mrs. Draper's that she brought here to the hotel. It has candles, it's not electrified. So um, it's really just purely a decorative piece, but adds a lot of character and, and kind of panache to the room. So on the walls in here, there are two portraits as well as throughout a lot of the main spaces here at the hotel that are uh, portraits that Mrs. Draper really wanted to create that feeling that you're at a, a Southern manor home. And so it really has that sort of ancestral feeling that you're away at a retreat somewhere in the country. And we don't necessarily always know who they are, but it certainly adds that feeling and kind of patina to the space. The seating groups all around are again in pairs, but with lighting so that whether you're reading a book or needle pointing, it really kind of gives you the perfect spot to kind of tuck away right off of the upper lobby that you can kind of be quieter in here. The room is actually comprised of two separate spaces. And so there's this front part and then there's a second part that has a beautiful red velvet Victorian sofa, as well as two Victorian chairs that really kind of, again, add that feeling and that kind of Victorian element that she wanted to create with the Victorian writing.
writing room. And that part has two bookshelves in the walls with both interesting historic books, as well as different decorative objects, Staffordshire's, that really, again, add that feeling that you're in someone's home, kind of tucked in their library or that sort of feeling. Mr. Varney always referred to this room as the most photographed room in America. And it really is a perfect backdrop day or night to get a really dramatic photo with that amazing mirror above the fireplace. It's really a recognizable space that you are at the Greenbrier. And interestingly enough, when Mrs. Draper did the renovation, uh, the, originally in 1948, when there was the big opening party, it appeared on the cover of House Beautiful, the April 1948 issue. And it's just really a kind of a, a fun detail. It was definitely a big moment for the hotel that it really was shared with the world. So next time you're at the Green Bar, be sure to stop in the Victorian writing room and send a letter home saying what a great experience you had here in White Sulphur Springs. Mm -hmm.